that. Like I said, they're pretty docile at this time, so we can get pretty close to the hives without them even noticing. Tucked away among the trees behind Hennepin Technical College. They like a little bit more uh, a mild winter. Is a small patch of grass with two wooden boxes. The contents of which have become a buzzworthy passion project for Kyle Hagberg and Ashley Shaw. These are more experimental learning hives. Um, so these are the ones that pollinate the gardens and all that kind of stuff. And these give the students specifically uh, real hands-on experience at, at keeping bees. Kyle is no longer a student at Hennepin Tech. The way to look for a queen is you just scan your eyes across. And Ashley graduated this past May. Kyle trained me in last fall and then I've been working on them with them all summer. But they keep coming back week after week to check on these hives because the classes they took here helped them develop a love of bees and a greater appreciation for the insect's role in nature. For me to be healthy, I need bees, so. It's an overall, it's a sustainability thing for sure. Hennepin Tech offers several associate's degrees in its landscaping, greenhouse, and garden programs, and supporting pollinators is part of the curriculum. I've been here 20 years, and every year I've added something to the program that makes it more sustainable, more exciting. It's not just about sitting in a classroom. Deb Kwame is Hennepin Tech's landscape greenhouse instructor. And a few years ago, she added beehives to the mix and had alumni take care of them. They really learn from being in the scene. And so I do a lot of that here. And if you just kind of look on the campus, um, you'll see all my little spots. And it's for education. For all the work that Hennepin Tech has done with bees, the campus just received a prestigious designation, Bee Campus USA, the fourth Minnesota college to receive the honor. The honor comes courtesy of the nonprofit Xerxes Society for Invertebrate Conservation. Kwame says it helps put the college on the map. It does. There isn't a lot of uh, two-year colleges that have this program. And we just pride ourselves in being a safe haven for these pollinators and specifically honeybees, which people seem to gravitate to. Kyle and Ashley plan to keep coming back for the remainder of the summer to tend to these hives. Kyle encourages others to support the cause. If we can take steps forward in, in increasing the health of each little part of the ecosystem, it'll bring the whole thing up. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.